Uh, my name is Andrea Farrell. I'm from the United States, from the state of Minnesota. And I chose GBSB because I studied abroad in my undergrad and I loved, fell in love with Spain, so I really wanted to come back and the opportunity to study um, fashion and luxury business was the change I wanted in my career, so it kind of became the default to come back to Barcelona and study at GBSP. Okay, so my name is Riwa Abiyad. I come from Lebanon and I'm 22 years old. Uh, the reason why I chose GBSP is first of all because of the city, Barcelona. Uh, second, I knew I wanted to go for fashion and luxury brand management and I could not find it in many universities there except for GBSB. And I knew that a lot of international students go there, so it was the best decision to take. Why fashion? I always knew I wanted to do fashion ever since I was young. But uh, you know there's this stereotype where you can't be a fashion designer because it will take a lot to get there and you need a lot of money and you can't make money out of it. So I decided to play safe and go for fashion management. I specifically started to wanted to study fashion and luxury business management because um, I wanted a change in my career. My background is in digital marketing for consumer packaged goods, but I feel I've always had a passion for the luxury business and the fashion industry. I love the way it's so creative and beautiful and like inspiring, aspiring even. Um, so it's just somewhere I wanted to see myself in the future. The event that we're hosting today um, relates back to the fashion industry, specifically with the speaker that we brought in. Um, Christina Bufano is, um, she works in a lot of different sectors, but specific, specifically has a passion in mushroom technology, basically, turning mushroom into some different fabrics for the fashion industry. So she'll be talking to us a lot today about how that's important. Um, and all together with the sustainability um, theme, that's really booming in the luxury, luxury sector as it's become more and more important. And I think the luxury um, industry has a lot to make up for in that area. Okay, so this uh, project is basically themed on uh, sustainability. We will be having guest speakers of uh, several different uh, fields. Uh, however, how this will be related to fashion is, for example, I will be presenting a presentation about biodegradability, how it's related to fashion. We have the swap stations where you can swap clothing and uh, yeah, so that's it. GBSB has uh, prepared me for a career in fashion by bringing in amazing professors who have the background already. Um, they've had experiences in all different sectors, luxury starting from the bottom in fast fashion, and I think getting to learn their expertise and their career paths even, their knowledge, it's been very eye-opening and amazing opportunity. Um, I think having that hands-on experience is going to be really valuable, especially in networking in the future. We've also had opportunities to network outside of the classroom, visiting Prada and visiting a winery up um, in Frisionet. So I think having those hands-on experiences is going to be really valuable in the future. I believe that the career services uh, did help us a lot, especially in the career fair at first. Also, uh, GBSB let us know about uh, an annual event that happens in Florence, the Pitti Yumo Fair. Uh, which we went and met a lot of designers, heard their stories, so it was a very nice experience because it helped us network with a lot of people. Networking, networking, networking. And fashion. It's the key to get to where you want. I think the most important skill for success in fashion would be adaptability. You have to be able to change in a moment's notice, whether it be what's trending nowadays or what's not trending, if you have to apologize for something you've ever done. I think just being able to uh, adapt to whatever is going on is um, really important.
After graduation, I'm actually going to be going back home to the U.S. Um, I've already been in contact with a few um, luxury skincare companies. My plan is to hopefully go back and do some brand marketing for them. Um, but yeah, back home to the U.S. and we'll see what happens with the job market. Uh, honestly, I was thinking of going for an internship or searching for a job, especially in the Middle East because I come from there and this uh, uh, industry, especially luxury, is booming there, so this is my goal for now. The fashion industry evolving in the next few years, I see a lot of it going towards sustainability, um, obviously as a theme today. I see a lot of it becoming more innovative, especially with the technology cha the technological changes that we have um, at our fingertips. Um, I think coming out of a master's program right now at this time will be really valuable with all that's been changing, especially since the pandemic and what's to come. Uh, definitely sustainability. A lot of designers are starting to create sustainable lines. So for me, if I decide to open my own brand, I would definitely do something related to sustainability. Uh, with GBSB, we went to several museums where we got to see how fashion evolved throughout the years. It was a very nice experience. Uh, also, the Petit Humo Fair we went to, it was a very good opportunity for us to learn more about the industry. Yeah, some of the extracurriculars we've had opportunities to look into at GBSB have included going to the Prada um, store and getting a personal tour, and as well as visiting Fresnet and getting a brand marketing um, lecture as well as a tour as to how the wine is made and how, what's important about it. I think those are two really good hands-on experiences um, to have on your resume to be able to look back on and network in the future as we've been able to cultivate those relationships.